गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी फार्मास्यूटिकल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टू एंड इन दैट यूनिट नंबर थ्री दैट इज स्टीरियो आइसोमर सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्टीरियो आइसोमरिजम वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज आइसोमर्स एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ आइसोमर्स फ्रॉम वेयर दीज स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स कम ओके सो लेट अस सी पंचकॉल आइसोमर isomer is the molecule having same molecular formula is having same molecular formula but same molecular formula but they have a different structural formula say for example here if i take c2h6o it has a one molecular formula but from this molecular formula we can generate the number of structure but for here we can generate only two types of structure first one is a ch3 ch2oh this is one and ch3o now these are the two structures that has a same molecular formula that's why these two are called as isomers so these isomers are of various types so we have to first see the types of isomer so isomers are broadly categorized into first that is a constitutional isomer and second one it is called as stereo isomer so this constitutional isomer is also called as structural isomer these constitutional isomer and stereo isomer these can be differ by the definition that is a constitutional isomer are the isomer having different bond conductivity having different bond conductivity that's why they are differ whereas the stereo isomer deals with the isomer having different orientation in the space so this constitutional is mainly dealing with the bond conductivity say for example as i given one example that is a c2h6o and there is a ch3 ch2oh and another one is a ch3o ch अभी ये जो दो स्ट्रक्चर से ये दो स्ट्रक्चर्स एक मॉलिकुलर फार्मूला से बना है एंड वी हैव टू सी व्हाट इज द बॉन्ड कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ दिस टू स्ट्रक्चर सो फॉर फर्स्ट इज अ इथेनॉल एंड अनदर वन इज अ इथर सो फॉर दिस इथेनॉल इट इज कार्बन कार्बन एंड ऑक्सीजन सो इट इज कार्बन कार्बन एंड ऑक्सीजन एंड फॉर हियर इट इज कार्बन ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बन so this two structure are said to be a constitutional isomer or structural isomer because they consist of different bond conductivity but they have same molecular formula abhi ye jo do structure hai ye do structure alag alag hai lekin inka molecular formula same hai ye structure ye dono bhi structure constitutional isomer ke under aate hain क्योंकि 
इन दोनों का बॉन्ड कनेक्टिविटी अलग अलग है यहाँ पे कार्बन के बाद कार्बन और फिर ऑक्सीजन आता है यहाँ पे कार्बन के बाद ऑक्सीजन है देन कार्बन दैट्स वाई दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल आइसोमर आर इक्वल वेर आर दिस स्टीरियो आइसोमर दे हैव इन डिफरेंट ओरिएंटेशन इन द स्पेस एंड इन यूर पीओ सी टू यस वाई बी फॉर्म पीओ सी टू यू हैव टू मेनली फोकस ऑन दिस स्टीरियो आइसोमर दिस आर नॉट मैंशन दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल आइसोमर आर नॉट मैंशन इन यूर सिलेबस But these are for the revision. Further, this constitutional or structural isomer are further uh, categorized into the functional isomer, positional isomer, tautomer, chain and branch likewise. So here we are going to focus on the stereo isomer. So stereo isomers are broadly classified in two two main types. First is a configurational isomer, and second one is conformational. So these two isomers, configurational and conformal isomers, are differ. They are differ due to they possess something different uh, property. This conformational isomer can be interchanged by one another. That is, one conformer can be interconvertible to the another conformer. But this configurational isomer, one configurational isomer cannot be converted into the another configurational isomer. That's why they are called as a, a different class called as a configurational isomer. They are mainly known for a restriction in a conversion called as a. They are restricted in a conversion. Whereas these conformational isomers are nothing but they are the convertible. They are convertible. So restriction in the conver restriction for the conversion it means, say for example, if there is a carbon carbon double bond, this carbon carbon double bond cannot be rotated because the restriction. For the rotation is because of the presence of this carbon-carbon double bond, whereas this conformational isomer consists of mainly carbon-carbon single bond, and this carbon-carbon single bond can be rotated, and by rotating this carbon-carbon single bond, various types of conformational isomers are generated. So. In your SYB form, POC2 unit number three, the more focus is given on these configurational and conformational isomers. Again, these conformational isomers are in your POC3 in the next year, that is semester four. There is a main focus on conformational isomer, and in this semester, that is POC2. You have to focus on configurational isomer. So let us focus on configurational isomer. So configurational isomer. 
this country as i told you this configurational isomer has a restriction for interconversion so this configurational isomer are further categorized into two main types that is first one is geometrical isomer and second one is called as optical isomer so this geometrical isomer mainly contain carbon carbon double bond and this optical isomer mainly consists of chiral chain so there is again more focus is given on optical isomer in poc2 and also there is some importance of the geometrical isomer so geometrical isomer are further classified into the trans and cis so for example this carbon carbon double bond this alkene having similar groups across the carbon carbon double bond if similar groups are present across the carbon carbon double bond then it is called as a trans means it is required that there should be at least identical two pair of that must be present in a molecule so for example it is a methyl group and this is a methyl group so this is the same pair and hydrogen and hydrogen this is the same pair so depending on their position across the carbon carbon double bond they get categorized again if the same groups are present on same side if same groups are present on same side in other words if different groups are present across the carbon carbon double bond if same groups to the same side or the different groups across the double double across the carbon carbon double bond are present then it is called as cis geometrical isomer the geometrical isomers are very easy for understanding but it is a limited that there should be a two similar groups that must be present as i told you that there must be this methyl methyl there must be present one pair and one pair on this hydrogen means two similar pair must be present to assign whether it is trans or cis but there are so many structure there are so many structure where there are three different groups are present for example this is a hydrogen this is a methyl this is a chlorine and again you can take this as a methyl group so in this case this methyl methyl groups are similar but this hydrogen and this chlorine is not a similar so in such a case how to assign this geometrical isomer so this geometrical isomer is assigned by e and z notation so this e and z notation is generally asked in examination so this e what is the meaning of e and what is the meaning of z so e means opposite and that is e means a integer that is a latin word meaning opposite and the z meaning together or it is called as so we will see this e and z in a next lecture in a next video and as well as we will have a focus on i optical isomerism then how this optical isomerism is arises due to the presence of this chiral center what is the importance of this chiral center and we will have a detailed focus on this e and z 
notation how to assign this e and z notation so dear student if you have any doubts so you can post in the comment box my email id is also mentioned in my youtube channel so thank you thank you very much